James Morris Lawson Jr. born September 22, 1928, is an American activist and university professor. He was a leading theoretician and tactician of nonviolence within the civil rights movement. During the 1960s, he served as a mentor to the Nashville Student Movement and the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. He was expelled from Vanderbilt University for his civil rights activism in 1960, and later served as a pastor in Los Angeles, California, for 25 years. Early life and education Lawson was born to Philan May Cover and James Morris Lawson Sr., on September 22, 1928, in Uniontown, Pennsylvania. He was the sixth out of nine children. He grew up in Massillon, Ohio. Both Lawson's father and grandfather were Methodist ministers. Lawson received his ministry license in 1947 during his senior year of high school. While a freshman at Baldwin Wallace College in Berea, Ohio, he studied sociology. Because of his refusal to serve in the U.S. military when drafted, he was convicted of draft evasion and sentenced to two years in prison. He served 13 months of his sentence and returned to college, finishing his degree. He joined the Fellowship of Reconciliation for, an organization led by A.J. Must, and the Congress of Racial Equality Corps, an organization affiliated with FOR. Both FOR and CORE advocated nonviolent resistance to racism. He went as a Methodist missionary to Nagpur, India, where he studied Satyagraha, a form of nonviolence resistance developed by Mohandas Gandhi and his followers. He returned to the United States in 1955, entering the Graduate School of Theology at Oberlin College in Ohio. One of his Oberlin professors introduced him to Martin Luther King Jr., who had also embraced Gandhi's principles of nonviolent resistance. In 1957, King urged Lawson to move to the South telling him, Come now. We don't have anyone like you down there. He moved to Nashville, where he attended Vanderbilt University and began teaching nonviolent protest techniques. Lawson studied at Oberlin College from 1956 to 1957, and after being there for a year, he married Dorothy Wood and had three sons, John, Morris, and Seth. He attended Vanderbilt from 1958 to 1960. Lawson was expelled from Vanderbilt in March 1960 for civil rights arrests, but received his STB from Boston University that same year. Lawson received a post as pastor of the Scott Church in Shelbyville, Tennessee. <inaudible> <inaudible> Leadership during the Civil Rights Movement Lawson moved to Nashville, Tennessee, and enrolled at the Divinity School of Vanderbilt University, where he served as the Southern Director for CORE and began conducting nonviolence training workshops for the Southern Christian Leadership Conference in his church basement in 1958. While in Nashville, he met and mentored a number of young students at Vanderbilt, Fisk University, and other area schools in the tactics of nonviolent direct action. In Nashville, he trained many of the future leaders of the civil rights movement, among them Diane Nash, James Bevel, Bernard Lafayette, Marion Barry, and John Lewis. In 1959 and 1960, they and other Lawson-trained activists launched the Nashville sit-ins to challenge segregation in downtown stores. In February 1960, following the lunch sit-ins by students at the Woolworth stores in Greensboro, North Carolina, Lawson and several others were arrested. Their actions led to desegregation of some lunch counters. Lawson was expelled from Vanderbilt due to his participation in these activities. James Geddes Stallman, the publisher of the Nashville Banner, who served on the university's board of trust, published misleading stories that led to his expulsion. Another trustee, John Sloan, the president of Kane Sloan, supported Stallman's suggestion to expel him. Chancellor Harvey Branscombe enforced the decision and remained unapologetic as late as 1980. During the 2006 graduation ceremony, Vanderbilt apologized for its treatment of Lawson. Lawson taught at Vanderbilt from 2006 to 2009, and donated his papers in 2013. Lawson's students played a leading role in the open theater movement, the Freedom Rides, the 1963 March on Washington, Mississippi Freedom Summer, the Mississippi Freedom Democratic Party, the 1963 Birmingham Children's Crusade, the 1965 Selma Voting Rights Movement, the 1966 Chicago Open Housing Movement, and the anti Vietnam War movement over the next few years. In 1962, Lawson brought King and Bevel together for a meeting that resulted in the two agreeing to work together as equals. 
Bevel was then named SCLC's Director of Direct Action and Director of Nonviolent Education. In 1961, Lawson helped develop strategy for Freedom Riders. Lawson encouraged the students to plan a second wave of Freedom Riders from Alabama to continue the work and Lawson joined the group. They arrived in Jackson safe, but when they filed into a whites only waiting room they were arrested. The NAACP offered to pay for bail, but Lawson and others refused bail and waited for trial. The judge found all 27 guilty and they remained in jail. Lawson and the Freedom Riders met with Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy, and, in September 1961, President John F. Kennedy ordered that passengers be able to sit anywhere. Lawson became pastor of Centenary Methodist Church in Memphis, Tennessee in 1962. In 1968, when black sanitation workers began the Memphis sanitation strike for higher wages and union recognition after two of their co-workers were accidentally crushed to death, Reverend Lawson served as chairman of their strike committee. He co-founded the Committee on the Move to Equality come. Lawson extended an invitation to Dr. King to speak in Memphis. King delivered his famous, mountaintop, speech, and was killed in Memphis in April 1968. Topic. Later career Lawson moved to Los Angeles in 1974, where he was pastor of Holman United Church. He retired in 1999, but continued his civil rights work. While in Los Angeles, he was active in the labor movement, the American Civil Liberties Union, and movements for reproductive choice and gay rights. He served as chairman of the Laity United for Economic Justice. During this time, Lawson hosted Lawson Live, a weekly call-in radio show, where he discussed human and social rights issues. He has continued to train activists in nonviolence and supports immigrants' rights in the United States, the rights of Palestinians, and workers' rights to a living wage. In 2004, he received the Community of Christ International Peace Award. Lawson took part in a well-publicized three-day Freedom Ride commemorative program sponsored by Vanderbilt University's Office of Active Citizenship and Service in January 2007. The program included an educational bus tour to Montgomery and Birmingham, Alabama. Participants also included fellow civil rights activists Jim Zwerg, Diane Nash, Bernard Lafayette, C. T. Vivian, and John Siegenthaler, journalists, and approximately 180 students, faculty, and administrators from Vanderbilt, Fisk, Tennessee State University, and American Baptist College. He spearheaded California State University Northridge's CSUN Civil Discourse and Social Change Initiative as a visiting faculty for the academic year of 2010-11. The initiative built on CSUN's history of activism and diversity, while focusing on the current budget and policy battles surrounding education. Lawson helped bring perspective, knowledge, and strategic thinking to the campus. The International Center on Nonviolent Conflict held an eight day program on civil resistance facilitated by Lawson in Nashville in 2013 and 2014. A class taught by Lawson, Kent Wong, Kelly Lytle Hernandez, and Ana Luz Gonzalez inspired UCLA students to publish Nonviolence and Social Movements, a book that focuses on the principles of nonviolence and social change that Lawson teaches. In media Lawson was portrayed in the 2013 motion picture The Butler by actor Jesse Williams. The film chronicles Lawson's training sessions during the civil rights protests of the 1950s and 1960s. Lawson was the subject of the film Love and Solidarity, Rev. James Lawson and Nonviolence in the Search for Workers' Rights by Michael K. Honey. The film is an introduction to Lawson's contributions to labor rights struggles and the civil rights movement. See also Timeline of the American Civil Rights Movement List of civil rights leaders Stanley Hallett <laughs>